So when's the last time you saw a woman walk into a room and you thought, oh my God, look at her hair, it's incredible. Exactly, like never. Or when's the last time you met a dude, right? You shook his hand and you thought, oh my God, your cuticles, they're amazing. Exactly, like never, right? As dudes, we don't notice certain things, but there are other things we never miss, like wedgie yoga pants. Or a dude's new Lambo, hell yeah, Brian, when'd you get that sexy bitch, right? Exactly, we notice these things. Well, women, same sort of thing, right? And you may be surprised to know that she actually notices some things that we are totally oblivious to. Now, the downside to this is that a lot of these things could potentially be turn offs and deal breakers. Today, guys, I'm going over a few things that women always notice about you. Please note, these are in no particular order. She notices all of them, though. Number one is the size of your hands. And this one, I didn't even realize until my wife actually made the comment one day about this dude that we know. She's like, he must have a little wiener. I go, why do you say that? And she goes, look at his hands. They're really like small and his fingers are like thin. That's a surefire sign that he's got a little wiener. And I'm like, wait a second, my hands are, she's like, no, 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 but your hands are like, like manly. His were like girly. And I'm like, all right, whatever, all right? So apparently she notices your hands, all right? She also is gonna notice your nails, and this is something else you gotta understand. Dudes never think about this, right? But your nails and your cuticles, right? Think about it like this, right? She knows that if she's possibly gonna get sexy and freaky with you, that those hands are gonna be all over that voluptuous body and possibly like inside her. And do you think for a second that if she looks at your nails and they're all jagged and like crusty and nail and like bitten and picked and bitten down, she wants those anywhere near the vagine? The answer is no. She also doesn't want them on her boobies or the banging booty. Which brings me to number three, your ass. <laughs> she notices your butt. So pull your pants up, make sure that you're wearing pants that fit and do squats, do lunges, do the things you need to do in order to build the booty because she notices and loves it. The other thing she loves is your forearms. There's been a bunch of studies that actually show that women are super like turned on and attracted to a dude who rolls his sleeves and exposes his forearms. And so expose those arms. And if you wanna take it next level, shave your arms, right? Remove the hair. This is one thing that you can do in order to basically make it look leaner and see more vascularity, not to mention muscularity and definition. But Alpha, shaving your arms is gay. No, making out with dudes is gay. Here's the deal, if you wanna shave your body, no problem. But what she will actually notice is the fact that you are a rude, ignorant asshole. And that's something that a lot of guys don't realize. She is looking, she is watching you to see how you interact with other men, but also how you treat people, which brings me to how you treat your mama. Gentlemen, she's noticed She's watching because she wants to know that you're gonna be a good dude, right? And if you're talking shit about your ex-girlfriend, this is not good dude status. How you talk about your ex or your significant other gentleman matters, right? Instead of trashing her and talking her down because she was a big humongous slut, you gotta just be like, hey, it didn't work out. She's a great girl, but just not right for me, right? If you are respectful, this is going to basically boost your status and she's gonna be more attracted to you because if she sees that you're talking down to her or making fun of her or saying bad shit about her, she thinks, what if we break up? He's gonna be talking trash about me. Like she's gonna be talking trash about you if your balls stink. Gentlemen, which is the next thing every woman notices about every dude, and that is the way your balls smell. Are they fresh? Are they sexy? Or are they musky, nasty, and funky? Gentlemen, the bottom line is this. If you are not powdering your balls every single day, your balls stink because that's what balls do, right? Think of it like this. It's a hot, meaty mess down your pants, right? All day, you're running around and it's just meat packed down there, right? The friction, the heat, it's dark, it's damp, it's sweaty, and what happens, of course, bacteria forms because that's what happens when it's dark, moist, damp, and sweaty, right? And so she goes down and she's like, oh my God, Brian, you stink think, right? Exactly. Or you can fix it. The only solution is powder with a non-talc based powder because talc unfortunately is bad for your body, but it also becomes a pasty, milky mess in your pants once you start heating up and getting wet. All right, gentlemen, instead of me talking about it, let me actually show you why this powder from Pete and Bejo is the best. These glasses of water represent your sweaty balls. On one side, you've got talc based powders, the other Pete and Bejo. When you add talc based powder to your sweaty balls, Mix it up, what you're left with is a pasty, chalky mess in your pants. So when you add your Pete and Pedro powder to your sweaty balls, mix it up, what you're left with is powder, nothing but powder. The choice is yours, gentlemen, a white, talky, milky mess in your pants or Pete and Pedro powder. What's that? A discount code for them? Okay, 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 fine, send me the pictures. <laughs> you're naughty. 
Gentlemen, that was your girl. And apparently she wants me to give you a super sweet deal on the powder because she wants to go downtown a little more often and she wants you to smell fresh as hell. Gentlemen, right now, limited time, there's a discount code down below that works not only on the Pete and Pedro powders, it works on anything and everything at Pete and Pedro. Gentlemen, now is the time. Upgrade your grooming game, but it starts with your balls being fresh. Speaking of fresh, the next thing she always notices is how your breath smells. And basically, your whole oral hygiene game, right? If your breath is funky, game over. If it smells like you ate a shit burger for breakfast, game over. You gotta make sure the breath is fresh, all right? Your teeth, they gotta be white. They can't be all funky and fuzzy and yellow and discolored. She's dying to make out with you, but she doesn't wanna make out with you. Or stick her tongue in your mouth if it looks and smells like a restroom toilet, gentlemen. Which brings me to the next thing she always notices, and that is how clean is your toilet, and your bathroom, and your place and your car, we're gonna throw it all in. Think about it, if she comes over and is like, just a second, I'm gonna go freshen up real quick, right? She goes in the bathroom and she gets in there and it literally is like a crime scene, right? All splattered and spilled and just blasted with your funkiness? You think this is gonna get her juices flowing? The answer is hell no. Gentlemen, clean your shit off of the toilet, but also around, right? Because the truth is, she wants to come over and relax, and she's not gonna relax if it looks like you live like a pig. And this also goes for your car, which brings me to the next thing she notices. Your car, she does, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of people, a lot of dudes are like, oh, she doesn't notice what you drive, she does. But the truth is, you can overcome not having a great car as long as it's clean, right? This goes for the inside, but also the outside. Guys, it's a simple thing that you can do that shows respect, not only for her, but for yourself. And while you're at it, she also notices your manners. And so when she comes over or when you pick her up, open the car door, allow her to get in and shut it. But be careful, right? Because I actually broke a girl's hand one time. True story, I was out on a date. It was a first date with this girl. Super spicy, not the smartest thing in the world, but super spicy, right? She gets into the car, right? But her hand was up here and I shut the door. I hear her scream. I ended up breaking her hand, but I still made out with her. Manners, she notices your manners. She also notices your style and how you carry yourself. Do you carry yourself with confidence or are you a weak puss? Do you wear stylish clothing? Are you put together? Is your clothing clean? Is it pressed? Is it coordinated with perfection? If the answer is yes, good news. She's gonna wanna make out with you. If the answer is no, chances are she's gonna go out with me or your best friend Brad. The next thing she always notices is your grooming, right? Not just your hands, not just your breath, but everything, the total package, right? You can have breasts that's fresh as fuck, but if your hair sucks, or you got a unibrow, or your skin is whack, he's not gonna wanna get with you if you got crazy nose hairs, right? No, gentlemen, here's the deal. Few things you need to upgrade your grooming game. A nose hair trimmer, you need the best. That's this one right here by Pete and Pedro. It is clean, it is smooth, it comes with a few different attachments. It also is USB chargeable. This is the best nose hair grooming tool on the market. If you have one that sucks, right, and it pulls it, it tugs, it doesn't cut, it doesn't do a good job, go grab this. The price is insane, and with that discount code, you can get it at a great deal. Something else that you need, gentlemen, is this. It's a grooming kit, a manicure kit, right? It comes with all the essentials, along with some other items, in order to always have great looking nails, some tweezers to pluck those brows. You can also use those scissors for your nose hairs if you wanted to, and then all these over here are designed for your nails, right? File, you've got cuticle cutters. You also have a tool in there to actually get rid of earwax. Anyway, I'm gonna link to all that down below along with the discount code. Bottom line is this. You need to make sure your grooming is straight because she notices, she also notices how clean your shoes are. Gentlemen, here's the deal. A lot of dudes don't think about that. We don't notice shoes or we think, ah, nobody cares about our shoes. And I'm not even talking about style because shoes can make or break an outfit, right? You can be wearing a sexy ass outfit. It looks amazing. But if she looks down and you're wearing like super dorky shoes or boat shoes, right? Automatically, boop, her shit's drying up like the Sahara. She's not interested in getting with you because your shoes suck and women love shoes. And if your shoes are good, she will suck. Does that make sense?